Well, how to stick to your goals and finish strong. We are nearing the end of January and we know a lot of you, myself included, may have slacked off on some of those New Year's resolutions. So I reached out to Dr. Jenna Dyson, founder of the Think Up Group to help us all get back on track. She joins me live. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Glad to be here. Absolutely. According to Forbes, 80% of people will abandon their goals by February 1st. That's next week. Why is that, that the is case? next week. <laughs> yes. So listen, so here's the deal. We get busy. Life pulls on us. We got kids. We got family, we got careers. And it's so easy to have the goals on day one. And then life happens. And we're like, well, I'm going to start next week. So what I want to share is that you don't have to wait and start next week. I want you to actually tap back in and start back today. How can we get back on track though? That's easier said than done. You know, we got family, we got some folks have kids. It's a lot going on work. How do we get back on track? It is so whether you are totally off track or you are kind of struggling right now to keep going, I want to give you a few ways to kind of make that happen to where you can not just have a strong start, but you can have a strong finish. Number one, you got to peel back the why. Like everybody says, know your why, know your why, but it's more than just knowing the why, it's actually about peeling back the why. So that means if you have a goal, let's just say, I wanna get in shape. Well, let's peel that back. Why do you wanna get in shape? Well, I wanna feel better. Well, why do you wanna feel better? So continue to peel that back until you're sitting with the real and the raw truth of that. I never thought about it like that. Okay, putting some why behind it. I, I know you mentioned grow by 1% on our graphic there. What does it mean to grow by 1%? Yeah, so many of us are, we get hyper-focused and we see, hey, I want to lose 20 pounds. And we want to do that tomorrow. I don't want you to focus on losing 20 pounds by tomorrow. I want you to focus on what's the 1% change that I need to make today. So for example, is that I need to make sure that I drink my eight glasses of water, then you need to drink that. The goal is not to hit the 20, 20 pounds today. The goal is, is to make those small changes. Because when you think about it, Success is really the sum of small efforts that are repeated over and over again. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Win every day. That can be hard. What does that mean to win every single day? It is. And you know what? I've been guilty where some days I may miss my workout and I may feel totally discouraged. And I'm like, dang, I'll, I got to start next week. I'll just wait again. But here's the deal. If we just make it a point that we don't have to be perfect, but we can be purposeful and we have a focus to just do a little bit every single day. So winning every single day is just about being honest and saying, you know what, today I can give two things. I can give two and that's all that I'm going to do. And if I give these two things then I'm going to win today. And the last one here, and since you went ahead and admitted to your, your last one, okay, I'm going to admit to this one. Practicing gratitude. Sometimes I forget to do that. Tell me about it. Yeah, so we can be our worst critics and we can be hard and we can miss a workout. We can fall off of our goals and then we want to be in a place of like, man, I need to forgive myself. Well, I don't want you to forgive yourself. I want you to thank yourself for still showing up. I want you to thank yourself for still being courageous, for still being committed to finishing no matter what. We Gone are the days where we have to sit in a place where we have to forgive ourselves. We're going to give ourselves grace and we're going to thank ourselves for becoming stronger and better every single day. And that's obviously what you teach through your organization, putting your mental health and mental awareness first. Where can people find more information about you and your company? Absolutely. You can go to thinkyourwayup.com and you can get more incredible mental health tips and mindset tips to help you live your best life. So Dr. thank you for having me. Dr. Jenna Dyson, always a pleasure. Thank you so much.